many of you still have nightmares about not turning in your homework on time? Uh, I still do to this day. Well, homework has become a full-time job for this generation of kids, causing many to become sleep-deprived and stressed out over the nightly ritual. If you have kids, you probably know exactly what I'm talking about. Yeah. yeah, there is a growing trend, actually, across the country where parents are requesting schools scale back yes. or, better yet, lose homework all together. It's very hotly debated. Some think it's good, others not so much. Megan, you have two little ones. Well, it's funny. We were just talking about this, and I have my all my group of mom friends. My daughter's in pre-K. She's four, and some mom said to me the other day, and this is shocking to me, she goes, oh my God, Megan, wait till you get into kindergarten. There's so much homework. I'm like, what? I'm like, at kindergarten? I said, is that me, a New York thing? No, though? I don't, no, I don't yeah. think. A lot of kids, they say, it's like the pressure gets applied yeah. starting at kindergarten, and I go, I remember going to kindergarten, like, picking my nose and doing my ABCs and running to my mom's van again and going home yeah. but the one thing I, I think for my kids and I, I offer parents I the importance of homework is as you get older it gets more important but I think when they're little I'm all about reading to my kids every night I think that's, that's the one the thing, thing I do every do. night yeah. we don't do letters we don't do kids get to be yeah. kids you know exactly. kids kids need that break I, you well, can't you be know, studying 14 hours I a day. loved you and I'm again this is I'm on everybody's opposite side today because I loved homework and I couldn't get enough of it yeah. and I Crazy. think it no it's a you have to give children homework. You know what? It Why? teaches you discipline. It teaches you how to get projects but done. Three, four, and five hours of homework? Absolutely. And because oh, no. I think no. it's Listen, I couldn't be the girl I am today without the gift of gab if I wasn't doing my homework no. at home. Mm -hmm. Hello? And teachers are, are, are relying on homework to teach their kids because exactly. they can't, they don't have enough time in class to teach them. So, look, 10 minutes, a little homework to finish up a lesson. I understand that. But when you, when each class gives them an hour homework There's every night, There's a lot of information to know as a kid. And that's why a lot of people don't know who our vice president is now because they don't study and learn anything. I think discipline and homework is perfect. So, but it started, it was supposed to be 10 minutes in first grade and an additional 10 for every grade afterwards. So it was 10 in first, 20 in second. Or right. hour or two. Well, they ain't got no jobs they kids. Hours. That's two hours by the time you're a senior. Class. But in reality, those kids don't have two hours. They have double that and more. And then the, the extracurricular activities that you have to do That's in right. order to get into college on top of that. I mean, it's just it's I had chorus, I had band, I had viola lessons, and I had like two or three hours of homework. I was on top of my game. Sorry. But you know what happens here really quickly? My mom's a teacher, and, and what they say is, you don't want kids to start to hate to go to school because something. So you got to make them appreciate and love learning. So there's a way to go about it. And I don't think by slamming on homework is the way to go My about it. My mom used to, when we came home, she said to go lie in the grass and look up at the Aww. sun or look up at the Aww. clouds or whatever. We, we did that. And <laughs> awesome. Yeah. That's a, My I'm brothers were never employed, but that's okay. No, they are. <laughs>